Welcome back to Mobot. Well, as you can see out here today, it's uh, it's been pretty wet. We've just had a break in the weather, so I thought I'd pop out and film a video that I know all of you will want to see. We're talking about how to use a robotic mower to cut an isolated cutting area. Well, what does that mean? Well, as an example, if you see the fence down there at the front, well, there's no possible way for a robot mower to drive around its boundary to that front section of lawn. So how could I possibly set up the boundary wire so I can actually have the robot mower cut that isolated area. Or you might have a terrace. You might have a nice lawn area, then up high you have a terrace. Well, how do I enable my robot to mow that top bit? So for a lot of people, this will be a valuable video because it's gonna save you money. Because a lot of people conceptually think, I've gotta buy more than one robot mower, which more often than not is not the truth. Now, setting up an isolated cutting zone, not all robot mowers can do it but the S5, S10, 2600 and 3600 can cut an isolated cutting zone. So let's show you how to set it up. So in a moment, we're going to simulate an isolated cutting zone for you so you can see how you can set it up at home if required. So what tools do I need? Well, like the other day, we've got really simple tools that you should have at home. A pair of scissors to cut the line. I have a, a hammer or maybe a mallet. One extra tool I've got that I didn't have the other day, I've got some pliers, uh, I'm using a Leatherman. I have the wire connectors, bag of pegs, and my boundary wire. Nothing more complex than that. So let's talk about the process and what's involved. I'm going to cut the line, and before I cut the line, you must turn off the electricity. Always better safe than sorry. I know it's low voltage, but be safe, turn it off, at the power point. I'm going to cut the line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two lines and bring them together and keep them around one centimeter apart and I'm going to run that line until I get to my new working area because for the Mobot what will happen is as it's traveling around its normal working area because it's so close together it's going to cancel the signal so it's not going to want to go over there and just keep doing the loop it normally do and mow the lawn and follow that line to get back to its docking station. If it's too wide, it may consider being a passageway and want to travel down there. So you got to remember you want to keep it around one centimeter apart. And if you are going to do this, that means you're going to need a lot more pegs because you need to keep it nice and taut. So again, roughly around one meter apart, but maintaining about that one centimeter apart, no wider, all the way through to your new working area. Now remember, this is simulation today, so we're going to set up a zone over here so you can see how an isolated cutting zone works. Hopefully it's nice and close so that you can see it clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that line so very easily, snip the line like so. Now I have my, my two parts. I've seen a few people do this in the past and got a little bit confused. So remember these are going to be two separate lines running through to my new cutting zone. Now, first thing I wanna do is connect one wire because in a moment, I'm gonna to have to run this wire to my new cutting zone and loop it back around. Now these connectors here, just to be clear, um, you might see that there's you know, two holes here and sometimes you might get a little bit of plastic from the molding caught on the inside. Um, if you see that, maybe get a knife or something, a screwdriver or whatever else, and just scrape it out because obviously that can prevent sometimes the actual line pushing through smoothly and it has confused a few customers before. So it is worth noting. So you can see here, I'm just clearing it out. There we go. And hopefully you can see that there in the video, it's, uh, it's cleared out now. So I'm just gonna feed one side through. This is really easy, nothing complex. I threw the, feed the other part through as well, like so. Personally, I always like to leave a fair bit either side because that way, if there's any mistakes, whatever else, it's easy to rectify. If it's too short, it's always a bit complex. Get my pliers out. And all I'm going to do is squeeze down on here nice and tight, like so. I can get a nice tight connection and I just clip it over the top, like so. Now, ideally, what you want is uh, to trim these off when you finish everything. Okay, so that's connected now. Now what we're gonna do is run this line all the way through to our new working area. 
uh, the isolated cutting zone will loop it right around that area then run it back and connect into this line. Great, so you can see I've created that isolated working area and now I've just got to feed the wire back to the original loop. The way that I'm showing you actually uses less wire connectors, that's why I'm doing it. Now here's something to bear in mind, your pegs. They're really about one centimetre apart and the advantage of the pegs that comes with the Mobot S5 and S10, they've got double sided hooks. So when I place these in the ground, I actually left them up because what I'm going to do in a moment I'm going to feed that line all the way back through to here. Then I'm going to connect that wire connector. Uh, again, it's more efficient and it ensures that my line is set around one centimeter apart. Um, the other thing to uh, note is you would have seen I've been pushing the pegs into that with my hand. This is possible sometimes if the soil is uh, wet or soft, it's been raining, so it's been really easy to push them in by hand. So you don't always need a hammer or a mallet. And, and last thing to note, the process we're using here is no different to if I was creating a boundary around a tree to protect it, except rather than sitting on the outside of my cutting area, it will be sitting on the inside of my cutting area. But at the end of the day, it's exactly the same process. So now I'm going to loop that wire through, bring it all the way back, connect it through, and then we should have a live connection. And then, then we'll see how the isolated cutting zone works. Great, so now you can see that I've done a complete loop and the wire is back here and here's the wire that I'd snipped at the very start. So I'm going to cut. Again, I'm going to grab out a wire connector. Check for the plastic, like I mentioned before, there's a little bit here, so I want to clean that out. I know it's there, I just want to make it nice and clean. moved it out. I'm just going to push through one side of the wire then I'm going to push through the other side. I'm just going to make that connect a bit further down just so it's away for, from the join part. You don't have to but it's just my preference again. Do make sure when you're doing this that it is uh, nice and tight because you are getting to near the end of uh, your loop. So remember, just squeeze down so that it cuts through both wires. There we go. Okay. Now, obviously we want to tidy this up, as I mentioned before, so I'm going to cut this shorter now. I'm satisfied with it. Same as over here. There we go. Obviously you want to pick up all these parts. So there we have it, that's nice and clean. The only thing I would grab is uh, a couple of pegs, which I'll do in a minute. We'll just uh, peg this down nice and tight, and we'll uh, peg this down as well. And what we should have created is our isolated cutting zone by forming uh, the loop on the other side over there. So let's see how it works. We'll grab the Mobot S5 today and see how well it cuts an isolated cutting zone. Okay. Before you use the Mobot in the isolated cutting area, make sure you turn the power on. Okay, so walking over to uh, where we've set it up, and in a minute we'll uh, see how it works. All right, first thing, let's just check to see. Oh, look, it's three centimeters, that's going to be fine for demonstration. We're just going to do pop it up. Uh, signal was lost before because obviously uh, it was disconnected. And there we go, standby mode. So how do we start? We just press start. And in theory, that is how you cut an isolated cutting zone. It's as easy as that.
So thanks for watching. I hope that this video has really helped you deal with one of the, uh, the biggest questions and concerns many people have is how do you deal with an isolated cutting zone? And as you can see, just uh, over my left shoulder there, uh, the mobot is uh, working away, uh, cutting the lawn. Uh, and it, look at great example there too. It got bogged down a little bit and it rotated around and redirected itself. Uh, that's a key feature that isn't available on every robot mower. A lot gets stuck and just keeps spinning the wheels. So again, look, the S5, S10, uh, highly recommend them. So many features that you'll see in these videos that are popping up on our Facebook page and YouTube over the coming weeks. Enjoy your mobot. Wake up today.